Hey guys, JB. First off, I want to thank everybody for the kind letters they sent uh, this past week. And I want to thank everybody that uh, donated a couple dollars to the channel. Greatly appreciate it. And again, if you can only send $1, $2, or $5, it is greatly appreciated. It helps with ink paper, equipment, um, the time that goes into making these videos. It is greatly appreciated, even if it's a dollar or two. I also want to thank Paul Clinton. Uh, he's the president of a company called Pred Defense out of Las Vegas, Nevada, great city. Uh, he sent me a pair of these Pred Defenders, they're called. And what these are for, these are for your pump shotgun, and they're for quicker reloads, I guess what you would call speed reload. And um, Paul sent me a couple of these. I've not yet uh, um, tried this this out yet. He does have some videos on YouTube, so you can check that out. And I want to thank you very much for that. I do not shoot a, a pump shotgun or an 870. I shoot a Benelli. Um, but I do have friends that do. So when we have a chance, we will certainly try this out. So um, I want to thank you again, uh, Paul, for sending this. And um, uh, we'll try this out when we get a chance. I'm sure it's a great product. Again, uh, this is Paul Clinton, Pred Defense, Las Vegas, Nevada. You can check him out on YouTube. Check the product out. If you like it, order it. Uh, when I get a chance, we'll test it out. Maybe we'll film it. We'll see how it goes. But thanks to everybody for the letters, the donations, and stuff like this. Always cool to try new products out. Love it. The video this evening, I kind of want to talk a little bit about what's happening economically here in America, across the globe, and uh, why I'm very, very concerned and why you should be very concerned and why we need to be prepared, why we need to be holding assets uh, and being very, very prepared for what's coming. Because no matter what these markets are telling you, we are in a very dangerous time. Dow Jones was down only 220 points today. It was down over 400 earlier, came back to close down uh, 220 points. Um, you know, there's this mindset out there that this this uh, prosperity that we're, that we've been seeing with all this printing of money and 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 all this credit, that this prosperity is permanent, that it's going to continue forever. And I can promise you, what we're seeing right now is not going to continue forever. The manipulation, the quantitative easing, um, all, all this manipulation. Uh, the Ponzi scheme is going to come to an end sooner or later, and this is why you better be awake and you better be preparing. Um, this illusion that people have, you know, the, these Kool-Aid drinkers that think everything is going to be okay, they're wrong. It's not going to be. I promise you, this is going to come to a head, it will end, and the people who are not prepared for it are going to pay an enormous price. Let's just look at what's going on. Hundreds of U.S. companies are about to find out that their bond ratings are going to be cut to junk. Corporate debt is in an all-time high. U.S. corporate debt is widely held by pension funds, investment banks, and institutions around the world. This is so dangerous. When this thing goes off, it is going to be like a nuclear bomb that is going to be felt around the entire world. And again, you better be prepared for it. Debt is going to be, in my opinion, what brings the whole house of cards down, brings the Ponzi scheme down. It is going to be debt. We can no longer afford to service this debt that we are acquiring every second of the day. Um, you know, growth hasn't gotten us here. Debt has gotten us here. Growth hasn't funded the purchases of assets or corporate buybacks. Debt did. Remember these companies whose bonds, whose bonds go to junk? They're going to have to pay up to, to refinance their debts or even making their payroll. This is going to set off a death spiral here in America and around the world. If you're not concerned or worried about the direction we're heading in, there's no turning back. We have acquired so much debt, households, corporations, the country. We are loaded. We are debt loaded and there is no getting out of this. This isn't, again, me scaring people. This isn't fear mongering. This isn't fear porn. This isn't a conspiracy theory. We are talking straight facts here of what has happened to this country, where we're at right now and where we're heading. If you're not concerned about, let's take a look at this, student loan debt right now at 1.5 nine three trillion dollars that's almost 1.6 trillion dollars 
auto debt in this country is 1.155 trillion. We're going on almost 1.2 trillion dollars of auto debt. Um, the fourth quarter of 2018, student loan debt, we, uh, we acquired another $10.3 billion in one, in one quarter. Um, with auto debt, the fourth quarter of 2018, we acquired another $9.5 billion. Um, I mean, this is a lot, a lot of debt. There were 3.95 million, almost 4 million vehicles on the lots, the auto lots, at the end of January 2019. That's a 4% increase from December. Almost 4 million vehicles sitting on auto lots. I drove by one today, well, actually more than that, probably about five auto lots in an area out here where they sell a lot of cars. So you got an auto plaza with all the dealers. They are buried with cars. They have a... Um, uh, a giant, it looked like a couple acre lot where one of the uh, dealers puts their cars. And I kid you not, there were just hundreds of cars on this lot and you could not squeeze one car in there. All these dealers just are flooded with autos sitting out there. And who's going to be buying these things? Who's making enough money to go out and buy these cars is, is my question. Neiman Marcus is five billion dollars in debt. 2.8 2.8 billion dollars is due next year. Re the retail sector is getting destroyed. Um, Vancouver home prices. Now that's our neighbor and in my area we have a lot of Canadians that have second homes here who come down and spend, you know, 6 months out of the year down here and um, they really, you know, support the restaurants and the hotels and a lot of a lot of the retail here in the desert. Prices in Vancouver are down 4.5% from last year. Problems in Australia, New York, London, Higher end home prices are coming way down. They're coming down a lot more than, than the medium price homes. And a lot of this has to do with China and foreign countries now not going into Canada and purchasing these homes. And now they're feeling, uh, they're, they're, they're feeling the brunt of it. China is not spending the money. They're, they're tightening up. They're in a trade war with the US. And so um, people around the world, Australia, New York, London, where Chinese buy, they're not coming and buying. And we're seeing it here, too, in Southern California. They're not buying like they were. We talked many times about people in the U.S., the U.S. workers working paycheck to paycheck. This is staggering. Only 39% of Americans have enough money saved up to cover a $1,000 emergency. 39% can cover a $1,000 emergency. Um, three in four workers, so that's 75% of the workers here in the U.S. are in debt. And, you know, when we look at people spending, you know, over Christmas, we look at people going to football games, uh, people going out to dinner, people taking weekend trips, people are using credit cards because they know they're broke. And they basically have the intent that, you know, the party's coming to an end. Let's blow these cards out. We're not going to be paying them back. And so um, they're not gonna, they're, their intention is not to pay back their Visa or their MasterCard. The intention is they're going down, so they might as well spend whatever they have left on, on their plastic and enjoy. And that's pretty much the mindset that we're seeing taking place right now. Um, as we, uh, <laughs> we talked about student debt, New York State, their outstanding student debt is 90 point six billion dollars 20 percent of new york consumers have outstanding student debt 45 percent of adults 18 to 35 owe student loan debt i mean how are these people ever going to get out of this this is a typical example of a debt slave these people are never going to get out of this debt and now you know we go back to the china trade war negotiations um, have been delayed. Um, this is all while European countries are collapsing with global sovereign bond yields. Yet, 
our markets are doing fine. This is how detached these markets are from reality of what's happening around the world and right here in the United States of America. Um, uh, Larry Kudlow came out today, said there's a very wide gap with these negotiations um, with China and the U.S. And uh, they're blaming, you know, everybody's blaming this on the markets coming down today. Um, you know, I truly believe that, you know, we are in a trade war with China and President Xi. Now, I believe Trump should just raise tariffs. If they don't want to negotiate, if they don't want to come to the table, um, I think personally, as I said before, they're going to wait Trump out. They're patient. They're going to wait him out. Um, hope that uh, he is not going to be a two-term president. And uh, I believe Trump should just raise tariffs on them right now. I know he's very concerned about the stock market. But if we're going to be in a trade war with China, if, if I think the best way is to just break them. Raise tariffs. The stock market is going to take a massive hit. But you know what? If we're in a war, we're in a war, and he's got to do what's right. China's been ripping off America for decades. And if we're going to get serious, then we need to stop um, putting so much emphasis on the stock market, and we need to start looking out for America. The stock market is an illusion. It's completely detached from reality. The reality is China's been ripping off America, and we need to raise tariffs and make them feel the pain. No matter what it does to the stock market, it is for the good of America. It's, it's for the good of the people here in America. And if the stock market takes a hit, then so be it. But we cannot allow China to keep ripping off America. They are a global giant. They are getting massive economically, militarily. We've made them rich. And I think Donald Trump is the only one that can stop China. They are America's biggest enemy. It's not Russia. It's not Venezuela. It's not Iran. It is China. China is looking to take over the world. Look at the islands, the military islands they built in the China Sea. Look how they're bulking up their military. Um, look how they're stockpiling gold. They're, going, they're doing everything they can to become less reliant on America and become a world superpower financially and militarily. And I think Trump is the only one that can stop it. I think he's got to hammer them with tariffs and not worry about the stock market. We talk about the dollar and the pressure that the dollar is going to face. Um, Iran is, de is developing uh, a gold-backed cryptocurrency right now. We look at countries around the world dumping U.S. dollars, China, Russia, India, Iran, Venezuela, and a list of companies, uh, of countries all over the world dumping the U.S. dollars. And so, again, this is going to be another problem and another reason why I believe the dollar is going to continue to devalue until it is backed by something. And this is another reason why I believe you better be buying assets like precious metals. This is what countries around the world are doing right now. This is what central banks are doing right now. Now, while everybody is telling you to buy paper, while the central banks are telling you to get in these markets and buy paper, they're buying this stuff. They're buying precious metals. So don't do what they're telling you to do. Do what they're doing. There was a real interesting article that came out this week, and it was regarding a crypto company called Quadriga CX. The um, CEO and founder, his name is Gerald Cotton, and apparently he died, and he basically took the keys to the exchange, um, to the cold wallet where these coins are stored. He took, it, took uh, the keys to his death, and nobody, none of the um, customers uh, could get their coins out. And now, as the story goes, he may possibly be alive, faked his own death, and stole a couple hundred million dollars of cryptocurrency. And so now uh, the owners of this crypto cannot get their crypto out. They cannot get their coins out. They are locked out because this guy basically uh, took the keys with him. And so whether he's alive or dead, they are locked out. They're locked out of a couple hundred million dollars of cryptocurrency. This is another reason why if you don't hold it, you don't own it. And this is another reason why I love precious metals, because I can put this in multiple locations and nobody knows I have it. It's untraceable. Um, I can barter with it. Nobody knows. 
And if I need to get to it, I can get to it. It's not um, in, in the hands of one individual or a handful of individuals who can fake their own death, disappear, die, take the keys to the wallet with them and lock everybody out. Um, you know, it's not subject to hacking. It's not subject to an EMP. It's not uh, subject to a virus. This stuff right here, I hold it, I can put it and hide it wherever I want it. And uh, I can get to it whenever I have to get to it. So another advantage to holding hard assets and not putting hard assets in banks, safety deposit boxes, I believe you need to put it in safe locations um, that you can get to and access when you need to. So I'm gonna close this video out. And uh, in closing, um, I just wanna highlight a few things. In my opinion, from what I'm seeing, I truly believe that we are heading straight to an economic collapse. And I'm not saying that's gonna happen tomorrow, um, but it is coming and nothing is gonna stop it. We are past the point of no return. And I think anybody who is awake or, walk, or, or watching this video needs to be very concerned. You need to be getting prepared. And if you're not prepared right now, you, you are so far behind, but you still have time. Do something, start preparing. Make sure you have a firearm. Make sure you have some silver, some gold, food, water, um, you know, medical aid put away just for an event that could be taking place at any time. You know, you do not want to be caught in the middle of an ocean without a life jacket. And so many people are gonna drown when this thing hits. You know, I see nothing but complacency. People have already forgotten 2008. It wasn't that long ago. And you know, when these people who keep saying, well, I've been hearing this for years. Well, you may hear it for a couple more years or you may hear it for a couple more months. We don't know. There was so much uncertainty happening politically and economically around the world. Anything is possible. Remember, our borders have been sitting wide open and they continue, continue to sit wide open. If we ever got hit with a terrorist attack, um, a major uh, a natural disaster, an EMP, uh, a financial collapse. There are so many possibilities that can happen in the blink of a moment, the blink of an eye, that if you're not prepared for this, you're gonna be, you're gonna be a casualty. And I don't want to see people suffer. I don't wanna see people be unprepared. I don't wanna see people continue to be dumbed down. This is the time to wake up, protect yourself, protect your family. Make sure you have precious metals put away. Make sure you have firearms put away, food, water, medical aid. Be prepared for anything. But I think without a doubt, there is so much debt in this country that this, this Ponzi scheme, the stock market has gone on for decades. All the fractional reserve lending and spending, um, you know, for every ounce of silver, these companies are flooding the markets with paper and selling two, three, four hundred pieces of paper for that one ounce. What happens when the game is over and people want the real silver, or the real gold, and they find out that that piece of paper that they bought is worthless, that those 400 pieces of paper represented one ounce and they're not getting that one ounce. So get out of the matrix, get out of this illusion, wake up, prepare. Take a look, read for yourself, Google anything I've said in this show. This is all real. The debt is too enormous. We are too far gone. And this country is going to go through some pain and suffering for all of the lending and money printing that it has committed. And things are going to get very, very bad. So do yourself a big favor, protect yourself, your family, get prepared, because at least it's gonna be painful for everybody, no matter how prepared you are, but at least if you're prepared, it's gonna take some of that pain and suffering away. And you may even prosper and flourish in bad times because you're gonna be holding real money, gold and silver. And remember, when things reset, when we get back to a, a new, um, monetary system, the people holding precious metals, the people holding assets are going to be the ones that win. He who holds the gold wins. Have a great evening, a great week. I will talk to you very, very soon. Continue to pray for this president.
continue to pray for this country. We still live in the best country in the entire world. Let's not ever forget that. This country is worth standing up for. It's worth fighting for. Make sure you're ready. Make sure you're prepared and make sure you're awake. God bless you guys. I'll talk to you soon.